Hello, Jay Silver with Helicon, and today we're out installing helical piers, or some may also call them as helical piles, and uh, they're just simple screws with lights. This is a starter piece. It's uh, galvanized steel in this case, and it starts out kind of a typical configuration. They're either an 8-inch, 10-inch uh, helix starter, or a 10 inch, 12 inch, or they also come in configurations of triple, maybe a eight, 10 and a 12. And the configurations depend on the soil type. So these pilings are designed specific for the soil conditions and the tightness of the soil. And they actually torque um, into the ground. So we torque this, you'll see our rig uh, over here uh, to my right. Um, is our TRX 1000 converted. We'll go over there in a second, but it has a high torque head on the top. And that just torques these on down in the ground like a screw. And based on the torque rating is how much capacity this pile will support. Um, you not only with a helical pile, you get uh, support from down uh, weight downward loads, as well as extraction um, anchoring um, down into the ground. You can see down here where we've installed a another location here of the helicals. And here in a minute, we're going to be out with the guys uh, installing in this location. And you already see we have everything staked out uh, with the stakes on where the helicals are going to go. If you want to kind of walk up up here and take a look, this is the, the drill rig. Here's the operating uh, controls where the operator is going to work uh, the high capacity torque head that I was mentioning. And this uh, goes up to 12,000 foot pounds of torque. Plenty of power uh, to get these helicals installed in to the proper depth and torques that the engineer wants. Um, and we'll have this job uh, wrapped up probably within about a week. As you see, it's a small, small footprint with the equipment. You see the hoses are running out along out to a power pack that we have out at the road. And uh, we have some of our equipment uh, over here with the rig and our operators are gonna get going here and we'll show you kind of the process here uh, in a minute here. So we're gonna make our way over to the helical rig. We're starting to torque the helicals in the ground. Here's a quick look at the diesel hydraulic power pack that runs these hydraulic hoses. You'll see to the equipment So you have the hoses. We got ample reach on these hoses, probably 400 plus foot. Uh, we can add extensions if we need to. All the hydraulics that run this machine, it's uh, totally silent, no combustion. So we're gonna go ahead and get started in this new cluster. So we got all the stakes, as we mentioned, marked out. And uh, Felix, our, our operator, has almost three decades of experience in this industry. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get these marked. How deep are they going about, Felix? On the 25 feet. 25 feet. So the, uh, the engineer, they have a design. And looks like uh, everything so far. Here's some of the, the readings and torques. Uh, but we're going about 25 feet. And then we're hitting uh, s about 7,000 foot-pounds. A little over is uh, the torque specification for this project. Um, and all this will get put into a nice log. So again, the, uh, the torque correlates to load bearing capacity of these pilings so when the engineer is designing this uh, and they're structural they know the load capacities that they need to achieve which correlates to the helical design um, and we know that 7,000 pounds foot pounds uh, meets the load capacity and they're stopping right about 25 feet and uh, they'll have some that go straight up and down and then they're battering some at an angle and that's to give more lateral load capacities. They're just making sure everything is plumb, lined up with the level. This will be the first piling. Looks like of one, two, three, about seven, eight pilings here in this cluster. The pressure torque readings that you see, uh, this is a IntelliTorque. There's a little computer uh, Bluetooth device in here and that reads all to the operator's cell phone uh, so he sees the torque 
as the machine is installing it down through the soil layers. And it looks like on this one, they're actually they we are doing a uh, triple uh, triple stack helix design, a eight inch down at the bottom by a ten inch, and then we got a twelve inch on the next uh, section. So that'll be a the the starter piece, the two pieces with the the flights, and then we'll start putting on additional uh, sections or extensions uh, as they advance this down through the soil. It's not a super, super fast process. You know, we'll speed it up as we're going along with the installation. Um, but again, just torquing, torquing it like a screw down into the earth. And that first piece, that eight inch one is starting to, eventually will start to pull the pipe down uh, with the, the torque that's being given by the head. And this is a, a 12,000 pound uh, head, Rex. 12,000 pound torque head up at the top. And as you see the mast, we love the straight mast. It gives you good control on the helical to advance it nice and straight as it's going down. If you can kind of kind of see here, it's uh, it's showing the torque as he's installing it down. Maybe you can get a shot of both this and the... But that's uh, really a good shot of the process. They're going to take out the bolts. You see them popping out the bolts. And uh, they're going to pull this up and put in this new new four-foot section uh, into, the, into the flight. So yeah, now he's bolting in on that second four foot section and uh, they're going to get these installed and, and there's there's all sorts of different applications for these. It could be used for a foundation for a roller coaster. In this case, they're using it for a foundation for some sort of netting and uh, something that they're putting up here um, in this area. So a lot of different applications that could be used for foundations on homes, new pool construction to anchor the pool. Gosh, power transmissions, helicals are very, very diverse. So if you are a homeowner or a business owner that's considering helical piers for your project as an alternative, maybe to timber piles, which helical piers is in our eyes far superior and we can explain to you why that's the better option, give us a call. We're happy to collaborate with you or your and or your engineer and design team and come up with the best possible solution for you and your project.